The Love Lion にぼくらは歩き慣れてきた日々も問うだ夢は安泰な暮らしだが刺激不足上にダラダラ照らす愛やみぼくらの歩き慣れていた道はどこだ時はたまにじゃったがぬくもりに包まれたら本物があった死んでてのほうへ思い出すは優しいメロディー What is up, man? It's your boy. Ashiro, sorry, my man. It came out. You already know what the fuck it is. You know, because you clicked on the video. No cap. Man, today, today, w e gonna be talking about Vinland Saga. You feel me? Ah, man, Vinland Saga. That's such a juicy topic, you feel me? Man, let's just get into it, man. So, Vinland Saga. What's not to like? <sighs> Great characters.、Mm, saucy characters. I ain't gonna count to you. Got a lot of. That hoe is live. That hoe is live. <laughs> okay. They hold niggas every chance they get. They hold niggas every chance they get. It really is just that. Man. Great plot. You feel me? Great plot. Hey, that plot armor, though. That plot armor. It, hey. It might not, it might, it kind of exists, but not really, my nigga. Kind of, but not really. And you feel me? Them niggas, them niggas really be getting down. They be <laughs> boxing. What are you talking about? All right, without further ado, hey, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. It's, it's gonna be hella spoilers in here. So if you have not seen Villain Saga, click off the video right now. I ain't gonna cap to you. I mean, like, subscribe, you feel me? If you like content like this, I'll probably do, end up doing like a video about an anime that you've seen or an anime that you watch.、Um, but if you haven't seen Villain Saga, you might want to click out this video because I am going to spoil the hell of shit. I h a v e not already watched it. So, man, let's basically get into it, man.、Uh, so, main character, Thorfinn, my nigga. Ah, my nigga. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not even gonna get into that part yet. So basically, Villain Saga starts off with the group of Vikings, man. A group of Vikings. My nigga Thorfinn's dad, bro. Thor's man. Thor's man. I feel like you talking about. That nigga is a goat. Hey, hey, could not nobody bang with that nigga. No one could bang with him. Literally, they even, they even made it clear no one could bang with him. The strongest nigga who's ever appeared in the story couldn't even bang with him. So that's just, that nigga just OP. So, man, basically, them niggas living on a little island, you feel me? Living in peace, right? Then some niggas from his dad's past, from Tora's past, pull up on him, right? Niggas was like, niggas basically was like, hey, man, we need you, man. Come join us. We gotta fight. And Tora's like, man, I don't need to fight no more. Get the fuck on. And guess what? Them niggas was like, we ain't leaving. w e gonna murder everybody in this bitch. I look up to you, we cannot go back and fail. Cause niggas told us to come get you. And for you to help us. If we, we cannot fail, so we gonna end up murdering everybody in this bitch until we gonna murder people one by one until you come with us. Hey man, Torres was like, damn, my son, I, I, I grown to love this village, man. So, you know, some little sim shit, man. He was like, all right, bro, I'll come fight with y'all. And then, bro, like, all right, gather a couple men who you think fight. You feel me? Who you think gonna survive this journey? And come with us. Hey, t o r r e s was like, all right, man. Hey, so basically, man, this nigga was gathered a couple people. He's like, all right, you coming with me? They get on the ship, right? Basically, man, hey, hey it's this girl. s h e like, oh, he's gonna die. They're gonna leave. They're gonna die. Hey, man said, hey, this, this how you know that nigga's a goat. This nigga said, hey, t o r r e s is not even finna take all them niggas with him. I got a lot of leverage in one of the places we stopping at, and I can only hold a, a certain amount of people on the boat. So, t o r r e s is only taking those amount of people, and h e gonna lead them there, basically. h e gonna leave us there, and w e gonna come back on my boat. 
hey, this is how I do this with this nigga was a go. Cause he was gonna go by himself. He was gonna go by himself. He was finna box them niggas by himself in a whole all out war, bro. So this nigga finna go by himself, man. And they on the they on the boat, they they all gone, they all gone already, they left. His son was so upset with him because he was leaving and he couldn't and he didn't want to he told his son like war is not a good thing. Don't 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 like have happiness in war. There's not there's no happiness in war. It's only death. And he basically told his son like don't ever fucking pick up a weapon. <laughs> basically, he was really he was really blunt with that. He said, "Man, put that down." <laughs> oh, bro. And basically Thorfinn this nigga Thorfinn that is the only reason I hate this nigga. This nigga Thorfinn, man. He just snuck on to the boat, man. <laughs> he said, let me draw the boat. Hopped in that bitch, right? His, he, his dad turned around, he like, what the, he like, he, he asked his dad a question. He like, oh, are we almost there? He's like, no, not yet. His dad said, what the fuck? <laughs> he turned back around like, nigga, what? Damn, bro. So basically, they on the boat. Man, the niggas that was supposed to be on his side and he was supposed to help them fight in the war, they, Switch that shit right up. They said, nah, bro, we low key was just finna kill you. I ain't go capture you. We was finna kill you. Hey, that nigga, that nigga Thor's, man, that nigga Thor's, I mean, hey, he jumped, he jumped across. Hey, when I tell you, it was like this much distance between the boats. Hey, this nigga said, like hawk smash jump type shit. Jumped onto the other boat with it, with beat them niggas up with his bare hands. It was like 20 niggas, a little bit more than 20, probably. Hey, banged out with the, banged out with the niggas. Hey, didn't kill not one of them though. Hey, it's this big ass nigga too. He was he was taller than Taurus, man, and he was the strongest of all of them. And this man took a mushroom called the Berserk Mushroom, right? Eating that shit. Hey, beat the f hey hey. He was beating the fuck out his crew because his crew was trying to stop stop him because he was he went crazy because it's called the Berserk Mushroom. You feel me? And bro, Taurus said, hey, this nigga swung at Taurus. He said. Hey, hey, that nigga said, he caught that bitch. Oh my God, he caught that motherfucker, right? Then he said, clocked his ass, clocked his ass. Hey, that nigga's unconscious, woke back up. He was like, damn, my fucking hair, what the hell happened? And then, hey, hey, Thorfinn, if you watching this, fuck you, my nigga. Just for that one thing, just for that one thing. The rest, the rest of the series, you good, man. Hey, man, but... This nigga Thorfinn got used as leverage and his dad got killed. They made his dad drop the sword because they he was fighting against the captain and he hold the captain. He beat, he beat his ass like real bad. Like he he said, all right, man. He made it seem like his, the captain was winning. Hey, this nigga, the captain broke his sword. He was, The captain was getting happy. He was like, yeah, I'm just best at this nigga. Hey, hey, man. His sword broke too. Caught his ass lacking. Man, he was really about that, right? And then, basically, basically what happened was they used they used Thorfinn as leverage. Torres ended up dying, and Thorfinn basically stole away on the ship on the ship that the um people who killed his father, and he vowed to like kill them in an honorable battle because his his father was like his father was an honorable man. He didn't want to betray him like that. You feel me? So. Basically, he he only was going. He only wanted to win in an honorable battle, so he trained and stuck with them until he could win in an honorable battle. An honorable battle, nigga never won, never won. When I tell you never won, he was close but never won. And now uh, he was close one time, and then the rest of the times he was getting hauled like bad, like it was bad. He was getting pummeled on, like he beat the bricks off that nigga. And Thorfinn was still a child. <laughs> anyway, Thorfinn, my nigga, cold goaded. Hey, he, tch, 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 tch. hey, niggas had the, had the two little daggers said, mm, mm, mm. hey, at one point, this man put, this man conquered, he climbed up a wall, like, it was a big ass wall, too, he climbed up the wall with his little two blades, like, on some, on some, like, mountain climbing shit, right, and, bro, once he got up there, he killed, like, a couple people, right, took one of the, put, put one of his daggers in his mouth, bro, had one in his hand, had a sword in this hand on some Roy Nora Zoro shit, like some One Piece shit. On some three, eat the. Hey, real big, big, big Thorfinn turned it to Zoro. Hey, look, Katsu, he said, he said, 
Me toy. <laughs> he said, he said, at first he was, he was me toy. Then he's like, son toy. Slash them niggas up. Hey, hey, man said, I will battle you again if you bring me the head of a man wearing a helmet. Cause one of the, it had to be an enemy wearing a helmet, but it had to be like the captain type shit. Like the leader, you feel me? So he cut the head off of the leader. It fell down, nigga dove into the water, like real life swimming and shit, trying to find the head. Then he popped back up as they was about to leave. He was like, I got the head. You promised to battle me on some like demon time shit. He said, you promised to battle me. Then they got to, they got to, um, own boy, Asklad, I mean, yeah, Asklad or whatever. They got to his, um, home territory, right? He started banging out with Thorfinn. Man, started banging, he started banging out. They was having a full-on battle. Thorfinn ended up losing. Nigga, hit him with the, flipped his ass, right? And then, basically, after that, he just kept traveling with them, because he was like, this nigga had to learn everything by himself, might I add. I love he forgot to say that. But he learned everything. Like, how to get his own food, how to fight, how to fucking make fires, how to survive. Basically, he learned how to survive on his own. And them niggas was not being friendly to him at first. But they they low-key welcomed him as part of the crew. But, because they was part of, he was only part of the crew. But he, he didn't, he was not fucking with them. Really, he really wasn't fucking with them. He just was like... I'm along for the ride so I can kill all you bitch ass niggas. All oh, y'all. Hey, hey, that nigga was, he think he was gonna kill every last one of them. I swear to God. Hey, anyway, later on, you feel me? They had to protect this one prince, right? And basically, this nigga was a wimp. He was a wimp. He was not worth saving. In my opinion, he wasn't worth saving. But you feel me? He ended up, he ended up coming on some demon time shit too. Cause his homeboy died who took care of him cause his father was a dickhead. So basically he ended up, you know, that nigga died, he ended up turning demon time. He was like, yeah, I'm finna kill my father and take the throne. I was like, damn, damn, you went through some pain. It wasn't even that bad, this nigga just died. Nigga, people who die at every other anime show. Why is you making such a big deal out of it? You didn't go through no type of trauma. You didn't go what, Zoro, Luffy, none of them. None of them One Piece niggas went through. None of them, none of them um, Dragon Ball, none of them Naruto niggas, you feel me? They didn't go through none of that trauma. Tonga, I'm gonna kill my father and take the throne so I can bring peace to my land. I was like, nigga, shut the, I almost had to backhand the screen, man. I'm like, nigga, what? But, um, yeah, ended up, later, man, they ended up protecting him, um, this nigga named Tor Torquil, Torquil, or some shit, he was the second strongest nigga in the whole series, you feel me, like, only nigga who could fight, he couldn't even, he couldn't even really bang with Thorfinn's dad, to be honest, like, Thorfinn's dad was that nigga, like, he stopped that nigga's stuff with one punch, too, not even, he just said, broke the axe that he was swinging with hey that nigga oh my god y'all gotta watch that shit if y'all haven't but if y'all have y'all already know what the fuck i'm talking about that nigga's goaded that ain't gonna come to you you feel me you feel me but man he broke that nigga, nigga axe thorfinn had to end up banging with him later on man so basically they banging out they banging out hey this man this man thorfinn cut he was he was he was fighting him right Hey, man's was swinging an axe. Thorfinn was like, damn, this nigga's stronger than the pitch. Had to dodge and everything. And he made one slight mistake. When I tell you it was a, the slightest mistake, I promise you it was the slightest mistake. It wasn't even really that. Man's grounded. Ooh, shit, had to burp. Hey, he grabbed that nigga's leg, said, doo, 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 doo. on some hawk smash it, man. Doo, doo, doo. Throwing that nigga around by his leg. His whole leg was fucked up. His arm was jacked. Man's had to limp home, all that. He had to swim like with a fucked up leg and a fucked up arm. That nigga really a survivor. <laughs> hey, but yeah, he he had to die. He almost died, man. Basically, how he, man still had him too, how to add. He got away by cutting that nigga fingers off. The only, he, Thorfinn was the only nigga. When I tell you the only nigga, other than his dad, who, who ever injured that man or could injure that man. You feel me? So he cut that nigga fingers off, man. The first injury he ever had, man. For real, for real. And then, bro, man said, man, man, swam away. He swam away. That's pretty much how, how that shit went. Ended up later, man's like, I like Thorfinn. I like the way he 
He fights in battle. I want to fight him again. Followed this nigga to damn near the end of the earth, man. Followed this nigga. Went to go fight him, man. He fought, he fought, ended up fighting him again. They banging out. He ended up telling Thorfinn some stuff about his dad. Talking about, yeah, bro. I'm your uncle. Your dad married my sister. Oh, no, no, no. He said, I'm your great uncle. Or some shit. It was, it was, they was, it was a weird bond. It was like, I'm either your grandfather or your uncle or some shit. He was like, yeah, yo, your mom is either my sister or my, or my niece. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and then continue to fight this nigga. Continue to hash away with him with his axe, man. They end up, they end up in there fighting, man. <laughs> Thorfinn got some, got another lick in, man. But dude has some armor on. So it just, all you hear is the metal. Cling. Man. Next thing you know. Next thing you know, man, Thorfinn, when I tell you, bro, hey, he 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 provoked Thorfinn, like, got his ass mad. Thorfinn was like, mm, stop fucking talking about my dad, man. Ran in that bitch, tried to slash at his head. Hey, when I tell you, man, took his foot, said, bitch, ah, kicked his ass, <laughs> kicked his ass like a piece of... Like like a soccer ball. <laughs> he kicked his ass like a soccer ball, man. Man went flying up in the air, fell into like branches and shit. Hit a whole tree, man. His arm. When I tell you his arm was like the other way, I can't do that shit because it was his, his shit was broken, man. His whole arm was broken. He was like, yeah, niggas was trying to help him. He like, bro, I got this. I'm finna beat his ass. Hey, he he said, <laughs> hey hey, nigga thought he was this shit. His, he he turned around. He said, oh shit, his whole arm was fucked up, man. Hey nigga. The nigga who killed his dad, Athlite or whatever the fuck, man, man, he he tried to mentor this nigga. I was so mad. It's only because I know what the fuck he did, man. But he tried to mentor that nigga. And he was trying to act all giddy giddy like they was bros or some shit. He tried to mentor that man, right? And he was like, bro, calm down. The reason you keep losing because you keep losing your damn temper. Stop that shit, right? And then he basically telling him he could he could be he could be him if he would stop get angry all the time but right now not the time to focus on me you gotta focus on that that big ass thick it's right there you gotta fight him right so thorfinn like banging out with him right just to save this nigga life because he want to kill him right so he banging out he he, he running he running away trying to dodge the axe though and um, torquil like that was weird Anyway, Torquil like, like, bro, he's in a box, right? He was like, he was like, stop running away like a little bitch. Are you really your dad's son? Like, are you bugging? Hey, he, he was on that. Hey, man's was, man, hey, hey, little did he know, Ashley had told that nigga a secret. He was like, hey, bro, the secret to beating him, I seen this nigga collapse one time on the battlefield. This nigga, the nigga who couldn't ever be beat, he collapsed one time. See that nigga get hit right here. Hey, Thorfinn said, ran up that nigga leg or his arm or some shit. He ran up, he ran up that nigga, jumped across, kicked his ass at. Man said, went straight down, stabbed his ass in the eye. Oh my God. Everybody like, did he just defeat him? The only nigga to ever defeat him too, might I add. Thorfinn's dad didn't even defeat him because they was never they never got into a situation where they had to fight each other. Right, or like really get beat, you feel me? But Thorfinn beat his ass, like he beat that nigga, right? So ended up teaming up with the. He ended up teaming with both of them niggas, his his great uncle or some shit. I don't even know. And Ashlad, man, the nigga who killed his dad. He ended up teaming up with them to bring the prince to his hometown so he could kill his dad and take the throne so he could bring peace to everywhere. You feel me? And. He wanted to bring paradise because love didn't exist in the world or some shit. Didn't make no sense to me. I was like, nigga, what did he mean? That nigga, the nigga who died for him loved him. So the man who died for him, for the prince, loved him. And this pastor who was supposed to be a Christian was like, love isn't a thing. It doesn't exist. We don't have love in this world anymore. Man said, I get it. I was like, nigga, what? It's like, what? Anyway, but he was like, he's like, yeah, I get it. I'm about to become demon time. I'm finna straight demon time this shit. Every, every five seconds is demon time. I'm finna kill my dad. I'm finna take the throne. I'm finna kill my brother, take the throne. <laughs> hey, this man was really on that. Like he was like, I'm taking the throne and bringing peace to the world because I'm that nigga. And if anybody tries to stop me in straight demon time, I don't give a fuck who it is. I'm killing everybody in this bitch. I was like, 
Jesus, man. Amen. Amen. Do you? Had a little bit of trauma, but you know what I'm saying? Amen. Then, hey, the nigga who, hey, because Thorfinn left, right? He ended up leaving. He ended up leaving his village to go stay with these niggas throughout this whole time period. It's been like years. So throughout this whole time period, one of the niggas from his village still looking for him because he told his mom, he like, he like, yeah, I'm going to find your son, right? He's like, I'm going to find your son for you. He's like, I promise to the end of my, no matter what time it is, I won't quit searching until I find him, right? Ends up finding him in the village after he finally settles down. He's like, come back with me. He's like, you don't know shit. I'm going to kill this man because he killed my dad. It's going to be the best thing that ever happened to me. I was like, all right, man. I was like, all right, Thorfinn, you're a little, you're a little too demonic right now. I don't know what the fuck that is. But he was like, he was like, yeah, bro, I'm going to kill him, man. for the kid with man he killed my dad i was like nigga yo dad first of all your dad don't want you to have revenge i know that for a fact because his dad was an honorable nigga he really did not want him to have revenge he really wanted to return home stay with his family and find vinland but thorfinn ain't want to do that he ain't gonna do that thorfinn hey hey later 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 on man asklad killed the king man because the king was trying to go back to asklad homeland where his mother and him used to live and he, cause Aslai was low key a prince, right? And basically, he killed the king, right? He was like, "Don't do this, or I will kill you." Man said, "I'm gonna do whatever I <laughs> cut that nigga head clean off." Man, I was like, "Damn!" I was like, "Damn!" But beside that, man was like. Man, nobody could stop him. He just kept murdering people left and right. The prince was like, hey, the prince knew what was going on. He was like, he's creating a diversion so I can kill him and become the prince. And become the king, I mean. Right? So he like, he took his opportunity, take his sword, killed Aslad. The prince killed Aslad, became the king. I was like, Thorfinn came in and was like, you killed him? This nigga Thorfinn screaming out like, wake the fuck up, stop, don't die. Cause he really wanted to kill that nigga himself. Right, in an honorable battle though. So either even if he killed him, like if, if it wasn't an honorable battle, he wouldn't have been happy. Right, so then Thorfinn's like, ran at the king, ran, ran at the prince that became the king, ran at his ass, slashed his hand. They, they started holding him down. The, kid, the prince was like, let him go. Let his ass go. This is the least I deserve. Right? Because he knew how important it was to Thorfinn. So basically, Thorfinn is screaming and shit. And I don't... Hey, the way this shit ended, though, blew the fuck out of me. I don't really know. It was just some nigga with purple eyes sailing or whatever. I don't know if that was supposed to be his dad's, like... That's supposed to be his dad's, like, new son or some shit. Or like a descendant of his dad or something. I don't know, man. Because it wasn't Thorfinn. Because that nigga did not look like Thorfinn. Nigga had brown hair, purple eyes. Thorfinn had blonde. It was not Thorfinn. That man, Thorfinn got brown, blonde hair and like brown eyes. So I don't know who the fuck it was. But that's the way they ended it. I don't know who it was. They didn't give us no type of context. Just a nigga selling on the boat. Looking like fucking his dad tore. It's like that nigga just like venture to Asgard or some shit. I don't know. But yeah. Thank y'all for watching, man. It's pretty yeah, this man, I don't even know. That edit kind of blew me. I'm still kind of blown. I ain't gonna have to piss me the fuck off. But thank y'all for watching, man. Thanks for showing y'all support. Drop a like and a comment. So subscribe, you feel me? Let me know what type of anime y'all want me to talk about. What just give me ideas of what y'all want me to do. I'll do it. You feel me? I'll check on it. You feel me? But as always, stay safe. Stay clean. Make sure you all good in this COVID weather. We out.